Mr. President, Mr. Commissioner, I am talking in a personal capacity on this matter. In recent years, significant changes have been occurring in Russia, from Stalinist communism to the beginnings of liberal capitalism, from nuclear threat Cold War to initiation of friendly disarmament and military cooperation talks with the West. At the same time, more democratic reforms in the country have been instituted and the standard of living of the Russian people has been increasing steadily. These changes we welcome and must support. We don't always have to be critical of the bad things, but we also sometimes have to condone and support the good things also. In this way, we will not only be objective, but we will also enhance changes for the better to occur faster and to a greater extent. With these thoughts in mind, if we look at the recent presidential elections in Russia, we have to say that these were held in a more democratic fashion than previously, although there was still the problem of unequal access of candidates to the media. But honestly, dear colleagues, is this a problem we don't ourselves have in EU member states? Unfortunately, we do. Following the elections, there were protests in the streets. Some of these protests, it was reported, were met with disproportionate force by the Russian police. Dear colleagues, can we honestly say that our own police forces in our EU member states or candidate member states are angels and don't sometimes, more often than we would have liked, use disproportionate force? So, yes, we condemn the unfair treatment of candidates by Russian state-run media. Yes, we condemn the undue use of force by Russian police against protesters. But we do so in exactly the same way and with the same spirit as we would when dealing with similar, similar happenings in any other country or union of countries, including our own. Thank you.